My Energy Policy Consulting Experience. In October of 2006, while doing a special meditation that I invented, I got a flash of insight concerning something I saw on the internet about the oil crisis and requesting public comments. In the web form, I suggested using solar, wind, tidal, and other alternative energies based on region, not to replace oil, but to lessen our dependence on foreign oil imports. I pointed out that over time and technological improvements, oil could be phased out little by little. I then ended the letter with something to the effect of, imagine environmentalists and big oil getting along. Prior to 2006, the oil industry and other energy companies were politically at war with environmentalists since the early 1970s. In the summer of 2008, oil billionaire T. Boone Pickens started marketing this idea and, as I predicted, major environmentalist groups such as the Sierra Club openly praised this concept. I received a letter dated August 20th, 2008 signed by the Director of Presidential Correspondence, advising that the concepts of my letter were now national policy, but I never saw a dime. I wrote this letter while homeless, and the letter from the White House came to a church address that I was using. Even though I had papers to prove that I gave the advice, I've been locked up based on the belief that my history, including this, is a delusion. The implementation of my ideas has saved Americans collectively about one-half billion dollars each year since 2008. In 2018, that total is up to at least five billion dollars. Not bad for a perpetually unemployed homeless person, considering that many people elected to Congress don't contribute this much to the country. I've earned my Social Security disability payments for the next 50 years but I would rather be allowed to work. I have another video where I describe my domestic terrorism consulting experience. I've done more for the mass shooting problem in domestic terrorists than anybody else. A video describing what I did to cause Osama bin Laden to be found and later assassinated is being withheld for my safety. When you consider everything I've contributed to my country, there are probably less than a hundred individuals who have done more than I have. And I don't even get one dollar worth of work in spite of all that I accomplish. I want to work in education or towards removing drug addiction from Western culture. Thank you so much for watching this video.